Hello guys and welcome to Klaus Gaming. Today we're going to take a quick look at Windward. This is a pirate game. It's a little bit like Sid Meier's Pirates, except this is a co-op multiplayer game where you can be up to four people in the game at the same time. It's also open-ended and more of a sandbox. There's not so much story to it as there is to Sid Meier's Pirates. Let's go ahead and take a look. So first we need a pirate name. So we'll go with uh, Jax. Here's a few more options. You can allow player ships, so you can limit item stats, or you can enable permanent war, permanent war. If enabled, all factions will always be at war. The higher the challenge, the better the rewards. Or you can set the combat damage. So if you set the damage low, you will have longer battles, and if you set it high, you will have shorter battles. You can change the look of your ship. So we'll select the Jolly Roger. That's more piratey. We should set a faction name. Let's go with the um, the ROM train. It seems fitting for a pirate faction. If they were smuggling rum across the Caribbean. So you can also change the colors of your ship and your flags. So here we can uh, set the uh, size of the world, the randomly generated world, and set where the faction starts and how many factions there are and the world size. So let's enter the game and see how it plays. So here we are in the game, enter the town by clicking on the town's icon. So let's see what they can do. You can buy and sell items. So there's some quests here we can do, deliver cargo to Denton Poor. So I picked up that quest. Let's go sail around a little bit. So I think I'm following this line here, that must be the quest line. Yeah, goes down to Denton Poor there. Okay, so I don't even have to unload them. When I get into view of the, the city, it automatically does that. So here's a bunch of ships that we can buy. The sloop is our current ship. And there's a sloop of four. We need 2,000 gold for that. We have a vault here where we can store some stuff. It's a nice touch with all of the uh, dolphins, I guess that is. In the water there. There's some cargo in the water. We picked up some materials. I also seem to have run aground, so I lost some hit points. So let's get repaired and uh, drop off this cargo. It just repairs automatically when you get in, in view of the city. So let's go find someone we can fight. Do some piracy, see how that works. So on the minimap I can see other ships in my vicinity. So I want to start a battle. A ship fight. Let's see if we can attack this guy. Well I rammed him. <laughs> uh, is he going to... Uh, we can hire him for 30 free, 20 free gold. If I right click I can hire the other ship. 20 free gold. Hunt down a pirate, so here's a combat mission, let's do that. There are rumors of an opportunistic pirate known as Vesperic roaming the waters near Althova. The merchants are willing to pitch in and pay for someone to hunt him down. Sounds like too much sailing for me, but maybe, accept. So let's go uh, kill this pirate. So now we have this quest line there to follow. So here he is, yes, he looks uh, like he has four stars, I rammed him. Oh, so I just have to start shooting, press V. Have to turn around. There we go. So the cannons fire, fire automatically, except for the V. 
down. So if I stay and uh, maybe I can go behind him. Like this. Press V. There we go. So I have to uh, keep my the side of my ship so that, uh, facing him so I can hit him. Well, he can't hit me, so the best place to be is probably behind him. And then I should always use the uh, V key with the reckless volley every time I can to get extra damage. So now we need to go repair. So we found something here. Damask sails. So we can equip those, I guess. So that gave us a little bit more armor diplomacy, but a little bit less speed. So you can equip different items here to improve your ship. Let's see if we can find another mission here. No quests. Dead and poor has a need of salt, which also has an abundance. So let's buy some salt. So here we can buy some salt. Let's go to Dead and poor. It's down here. I think. Let's look at the map. Yeah, right down there. So it's, uh, it will take a little bit of a while. Oh, I sailed right into this guy. But it doesn't seem like uh, if you ram the guy with the front only, then you don't take damage. Captured Deshi, captain. A nearby town has been captured by pirates until you capture it back. This foul cesspool of corruption will keep sending out new pirate ships to harass everyone in the region. Find it, captain. Why about the scourge placing these peaceful waters once and for all? Okay. So we should go and look for that town. First, we need to sell it. Salt. Ah, so we actually lost money on this, even though I got that tip. Capture Deshi, let's go do that. Follow this quest line. So here's a pirate. We can attack him. Let's try and stay behind him so he can't hit us. I'll try to use the V key. Put a reckless bolt. So he's almost dead. Pressing the R key. And that take uses up some wood. So now we have one star. I guess that's uh, an indication of how dangerous we are. Here's another pirate we can kill. So I should see if I can get in front of him. Here. And he not let him ram me. Try to get behind him here. By firing the V key constantly when I can. So he should go down now. There we go. Found two coal. Let's just repair. Let's try and equip that. It's got better accuracy, less critical, but more standard damage. Also, we can salvage it for materials instead. Let's just keep that as an option. Also, now we're fighting. Actually, this is the city that has been taken over by pirates. So now we captured it back. 
just by staying in the zone of the city. We also re received some cannons. And these are much better than what we have. So here's another combat instance. There's some trouble brewing in a nearby region. The pirates have taken over and harassing the local populace. A call has gone out for assistance if you have the time to help. If you have to press this icon to use the instance. So pretty good reward for that, I guess. We should do that. But first we need to equip these cannons. They're much better than what we have. And our ship is fully repaired, so let's go to the instance. Clear the region. Welcome, Captain. We are in dire need of your help. The pirates are literally everywhere, and you are the first one to offer help. Please drive these marauding savages out of here so we can reclaim our homes. So let's go fight the pirates and try out the new cannons. So you can also uh, maneuver your ship on WASD. If you press S, it'll actually go backwards. So yeah. And W will put more speed. Let's try and ram this guy down here. I don't think that worked out. Up here. Let's see if this pirate dropped anything. Dropped some gold and some materials. Alright guys, that's all we have time for in this quick look at Windward. It's on Steam and it's a co-op game. You can play four players or you can play it single player. The game is currently in early access and I think that it's probably more fun if you're playing with uh, three other players. I think if you're only playing single player you might as well just play Sid Meier's Pirates. It has more story elements and it's more fun to play in single player. Also I'm not sure that I like the way that uh, your cannons automatically fire whenever you're just near an other pirate ship. Some of the game mechanics uh, seem a little bit too simple. If you think you might enjoy it, go ahead and pick it up and I'll catch you all next time. Thank you for watching.